Disgruntled states have combined to push back against the Morrison government's plan to review water sharing arrangements in the Murray-Darling Basin. But during the meeting in Brisbane, New South Wales backed down on its threat to walk away from the plan entirely. Angry farmers flooded to Canberra. Their calls to axe the Murray-Darling Basin plan forced the Water Minister to take action. We are going to get someone independent to undertake a transparent process. Promising to review the water sharing arrangements with the states. We gave those commitments to those farmers right up and down the basin. But just a fortnight later, several states pushed back at a meeting of Water Ministers in Brisbane, refusing to cooperate with the Inspector General Mick Kilty's review. Opening up water sharing arrangements would be opening a Pandora's box. We don't want to be penalised because we manage our water system well. New South Wales the only state willing to get on board. I think it's important um, you know, that they have, be able to have a look under the bonnet. The Federal Water Minister is vowing to press on, with the review starting as early as next week. If they're so confident, let the sunshine in, have a look at it. The Inspector General conceding the lack of cooperation will now make his job more difficult. If I get to a point where we're unable to find the facts, then I'll, I'll simply uh, shine a light on that. But while a review of the plan has largely been rejected, the Murray-Darling Basin plan itself has survived. All states have agreed to remain at the negotiating table for now, after New South Wales threatened to withdraw from the deal unless more water flowed to irrigators. We are still in the plan, but we have had major wins. New South Wales Water Minister Melinda Pavey has made it clear that her state will not release more water for environmental flows during the drought. That water is simply not there in New South Wales. We've given all that we can. Ms Pavey's comments for the camera angering her South Australian counterpart, a fellow Liberal. New South Wales says one thing in the room and then completely different statements are made in front of TV cameras. States remain at loggerheads over the Murray-Darling Basin Plan, a sign of the fundamental tension that exists within it. They were able to reach some agreement, asking the ACCC to fast-track an investigation looking into foreign ownership and monopolies. This is a $13 billion investment the Australian taxpayer has made. Uh, I think they want some accountability. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.